Art is a lie that helps us realize the truth. This is a very good quote from Pablo Picasso. I think this quote uh, very much pertains to how art can be therapeutic and can help us identify with the discovery of ourselves. So on that note, I'm going to discuss my involvement in art, the basis around my art, and the type of art I do. Uh, but before we start with that, let's go back to ha the history of how I got started with art. Both of my parents were artists. Um, my mom painted, my dad painted as well. Uh, my dad was very hands-on with art. He liked to build a lot of things with wood. Uh, my mom was mainly focused on painting and drawing. So ever since I was little, I was constantly being given paintbrushes, you know, crayons, just anything that I could focus on and just express myself artistically. So that's about the basis of how I got started with it. Um, I didn't, it wasn't until high school until I really started to express myself on a daily basis with art. I was drawing every day, painting every time I could, you know, grab my hands on some paint. Um, and then whenever I got to be in my early 20s is when I started noticing that it was helping me therapeutically. It's actually, I think art is probably one of the most well sought out therapeutic remedies one can do. Um, I actually suffer from a few different mental illnesses. I suffer from bipolar disorder and schizophrenia and I have very, very much noticed that when I do paint, it helps me it helps me focus on the art rather than focus on things that I'm struggling with on a daily basis or things that I'm just overthinking in my head. So instead of instead of thinking about the bad things, I'm able to focus on the pen and paper or the paints and the canvas. So now that everyone knows and we've touched on the history of art, uh, the basis of my art really, really involves just however I feel. Um, I really try to incorporate my art to be very emotional. I don't really do art. My purpose isn't to be in a gallery or to be, to catch someone's eyes. The whole purpose for me is so I get out my emotions. I get out the way I feel and it does the job for me. And I think that's, I think that should be the basis of most art, is that it is all in the eye of the beholder. And as long as the point of the artist gets across, then job well done. So, now that uh, we know the basis of my art, I'm going to show a few pieces of art that I do. This is one piece of one type of medium I use. I use, um, this is actually just melted crayons, where I have used to be very... I like to be very colorful with my art. Um, this kind of is a piece that I've actually um, done for a LGBT campaign. It's very, uh, like I said, it's very bright and shows all the colors of the rainbow. And this piece of art right here, um, this is mainly just the use of acrylics. Um, I have put some there's parts of poetry, there's parts of my own journal in there, there are music lyrics, and there's rose petals kind of glued on different parts of it. Uh, I usually use acrylics in most of my paint. I'm kind of experimenting with other things. Uh, a lot of it is collage based. Um, my main focus is to find whatever it is catches my eye and I feel can get my point across as an artist. So I will use anything I can find. I don't, I'm not biased towards one medium or another. My, I really want to focus my art with letting people know that it's so good for therapy. It's so good to just get things off your mind, get things off your chest. I hope that by seeing my art and hearing me talk about my art, it can help inspire anybody to just discover themselves and express themselves in any way they can, whether it's by picking up a paintbrush or, you know, creating a beautiful piece of pottery. Anyway, so thank you very much.